Hey Mark, how you doing? All right, we're looking fantastic here. Cover's great. I think just the, the simplicity of that, the cover is just, it, I think it's gorgeous. I really do. It's, it's got this nice minimal um, value to it that I think is, is really, really effective. I, I, I just think that that little peace sign right there just screams meaning. I, you may have heard me talk about this before, Mark, but it, there's, there's something called um, Hicks Law, H-I-C-K apostrophe S, Hicks Law. And Hicks Law says that the more you add to something, the more it takes away from what's already there. And I think that some of the other things that we had back in you know, more earlier iterations of the, of the poster are really indicative of that. Because, you know, if you were to add something, like if you were to add a rifle down here, it's going to actually take away the impact of the peace sign. The impact of the peace sign right now, I think it's as strong as it can possibly be. So I was really, really super pleased to see that. Now, theoretically, I, I think that you you probably could go a little bit thicker on the stroke of the peace sign itself or find a uh, typeface. Um, I'm not asking you to do this. I'm just bringing this out for observation. I think you've, you've just nailed this piece. I think you've done a great job. But what I would do in the typeface design in this, the search for the font, I would either find a uh, this kind of um, uh, typewriter font that has got a, a lesser stroke um, or I would just thicken up that stroke for the peace sign just a little bit because right now it's a little bit, uh, it's just that the, the stroke for the letter forms are, is pretty thick compared to that uh, stroke for the peace sign. So a little, little bit of consistency there, um, but it's not a, a serious issue at all. Okay, so let's jump down here and take a look at the page mechanics. I think that's really, really a fantastic job. Now, one of the things I think is if you take a look at the overall balance of the timeline itself, it almost looks like it's leaning this way a little bit towards this side of the composition. And the reason I say that is because there's one thing that's happening here, and it's the density is lying that, that far. Because one of the things that's happening is you're being forced to put the timeline markers to the left because these two lines right here are longer than these two lines. You should establish a type width for the timeline entries and stick with it. Okay, that way you can redistribute these accordingly. So if you have to go to three lines or, or two lines here or three lines somewhere, so be it. That's fine. Like you may have to go to three lines here. So no, 73. Uh, 1973, January 27th, next line, Lixon signs the next line, Paris Peace Accord. You see what I'm saying? That way you can evenly distribute these so that the weight will be evenly distributed, appearing that this won't be off balance. Okay. Um, you've got italic and the, the, the month and the date, I'm sorry, the year and the, the month italicized, which that's fine. But I'm wondering if the typeface that you have used here, and respond to this if you can, because I'm wondering if it has open type capabilities, specifically talking about accessing the small caps for things like USA and the old style numerals for the timeline. It's not a big deal in the timeline with this kind of sh these really short um, but try it, you may like it, but definitely right here in that body copy, it's going to look just beautiful with old style. I use old style numerals every chance I get, unless it's a really, really super contemporary piece that has very, very little uh, body copy. And the numbers are actually in more of a display mode than in a body copy mode. So yeah, definitely want to old style there, all small caps right there. I say all caps before I meant small caps. So these are all open type features. So um, this type, this paragraph is set beautifully. I think just, just, fan, just fantastic work. Um, a couple of things you can do with the image itself. I think right now the image is a little bit overpowering because one of the things that happens is you're, you're breaking the horizontal grid or I don't know if you're breaking it or not, but you know you may consider aligning it with maybe the top with the uh, top of the type and moving the image down, or just align it with the type. And the third option is to mimic the circle here and place that in a circle. So one thing I'm saying is I just think that there's too much negative space in the image itself. I think it could be cropped, maybe pulled a little bit closer in proximity to the type and then try to establish some sort of alignment here, whether it be top to bottom or just the top aligned. 
or even a circle. A circle might be kind of tough. Try it though. Let me know what you think. It's certainly, certainly an option. It might be great. I don't know. I'd have to see it. All right. So those are my recommendations. And I think you have done a great job in the class. I really enjoyed having you as a student, Mark. I, I appreciate everything you've done. You're a very engaged, hardworking student. And we've really I've had a great class. I mean, everyone in this class is engaged. This is a good group. <laughs> I have to admit, this was a good group. This, this class was so easy to teach. I wish all my classes were like this. That said, one thing I'd like to ask you to do uh, for me is can you jump in and take the end of course survey? Um, you should receive an email. Let me know if you don't because you should receive an email any day now if you not already have uh, giving you information on how to access the end of course survey so that you can share your thoughts and opinions on the class. Uh, the level of instruction, the le level of proficiency of myself, of your instructor, and also the delivery of the class as well as how, how well you feel the class is written. It's your student voice. you got to make it heard, right? And this is the best way to do it. Fantastic work. Questions, comments, concerns, clarifications, any of the above, I'm right here. And uh, feel free to give me a holler. All right. Great job. Thanks, man.